What's up guys and welcome to the logo design section of the Shopify mastery course. Today we're going to be going over logo design, the importance of it and how you can utilize branding for your Shopify store. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you need to understand is that you are building a brand. So with your logo creation, you need to have this in the back of your mind that you're actually building a brand and understanding what a brand means. So think about some brands that you're familiar with. Think about something like Nike, think about something, something like Apple or another brand such as Amazon, okay? So you take a look at their logo design and the emotional feeling towards it. If you look at Nike, it's very sleek, very quick. That is the type of image that they're trying to present with their logo. You look at Apple, once again, very sleek, very simple. You understand it just from seeing their logo, seeing their imaging. It's very obvious what they're doing here with their brand. Same thing with Amazon. You know, Amazon's going more for that approach of like the smiley face with the arrow, you know, everything from A to Z is on Amazon. That's their whole point there. And you also want to cater toward your target audience, which I'll go over a more specific in-depth example later in the presentation here on a logo design that is representing a brand, but also, you know, what type of niche it is because the, the logo and branding that you go with should ultimately match the niche that you have selected for your Shopify store. And going more in depth on what brand allows you to actually do is it allows you to build a loyal community around that image, around your representation, how people feel towards you. That's all that brand is, is how people, your customers feel about your thing that you're doing. So obviously you're doing your Shopify store, you know, what kind of products you're selling, what kind of posts you post on your pages, on Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. You're building a loyal community and ultimately so that people will trust you and so that they make purchases from you and then you can mark up products and stuff like that through your Shopify store. So, you know, brand gives you this identity and this ability to then build this community for people to trust you and for you to be able to ultimately really make sales at the end of the day. So another thing with actually designing your logo is you have to consider what kind of colors does your target audience like, you know, think about the emotional responses that people get with different colors, you know, with red, it's more faster pace, more sexy, heartbeat is higher, you know, we'll go over more specific on colors later, but you know, think about what kind of colors your target audience thinks about, okay? What kind of colors would represent them best? Think about the feelings and you, you're just wanting it to represent what you're all about. So going to a specific example here in the presentation is about a vegan brand. So there's a vegan brand. This is actually a thumbnail from a YouTube video I found going over this specific brand's food. So it's Guard In. That's the name of the brand. And it's very green. It's a, it's actually a vegan meatball. So it's mock meat that they're selling. And it's, it's made with beans. It's plant powered, aka, you know, that's what they have in the corner of the, of the thumbnail there. And so you know, think about if you were to start a vegan brand selling uh, vegan t-shirts, you know, different t-shirt designs focused around veganism, like funny things or sayings like mock meat or, you know, there's tons and tons of different quotes and funny sayings that you could put on t-shirts and then sell that on your store or different products you could sell uh, focused around plant-based stuff. There's a lot of different things that you could do for your Shopify store focused around the vegan niche, okay? So if you were to design a logo, you'd want it to be more plant-based. You want it to be more green, more focused around plants, right? You know, this V has a little leaf coming out of it for vegan. So you think about what type of colors, what type of things you want to represent your brand, you know, what if you're in that niche, focus around that, what type of imagery represents the kind of products that you're selling, the type of image that you represent, okay? So let's go ahead and actually build one. That's what we're gonna get into here, the next section of this uh, designing your logo section of the course. So for actually building your logo, the website that I use personally and highly recommend you use is logomaker.com. And I put the spelling there because a lot of people make this mistake and mess it up. It's L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R. There's no E because that takes you to a completely different website. It's just logo M-A-K-R. You just copy and paste this, put this directly into your browser, and that'll take you right to the website. So in a second here, we're going to hop over there and I'll show you how to build a logo. Alrighty guys, so we are now on logomaker.com. This is the template that pops up for you. So since I am doing a French Bulldog store, of course, I am going to be designing a French Bulldog logo for Frenchy Life. 
Now, I'm going to show you the, as an example how to do it for, you know, for my store, and then you can utilize these same tactics and strategies for your own store. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and look at the different types of imagery that we can find. So to get different images, depending on what type of brand, what type of store you're running, you just come up here to the top left and search for anything that you want. So let's, let's scratch even doing French Bulldogs. Let's say we're doing a fishing store, okay, just as an example uh, for you guys so you can understand the the crazy magnitude that this website offers you so you have fishing right here and you can utilize any of these little imageries uh pictures for your logo so you know if you want to do more of like a co comical store maybe you do something like this uh with like a little stick dude you know maybe you just do a hook if you're selling uh things for fish like bait maybe if you do uh some sort of uh, fishing pole thing i mean if you're doing a fishing store you could pick pretty much anything from this and utilize it for your actual logo so if you know you could do something like this right and then you could do if you wanted to have a nice little backdrop you could then use a circle so you know you could utilize this and then to actually change the colors well first we're going to put it behind it so all you have to do is right click and then click send to back and then so as you can see these are the layers right here where you can manipulate that you can change the color so we're gonna go with like a nice like light blue to represent the ocean water I uh, can't click for the life of me okay let's go with like a bluish green and aqua color and we'll stick to that so as you can see there's a lot of different ways that you can manipulate the colors to help represent your brand better maybe you go something like this I mean there's a ton of different ways that you can manipulate this to make it look a certain way that you like for your store. Uh, so this is just a quick example showing you with fish, but we're going to actually go ahead and start designing the one for my store so you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm going to be doing for my actual store that I'm using as an example for this course. So I do want to actually use a circle here. So I just cleared away the other ones and I'm going to use a circle here for the backdrop. And I'm going to color this kind of like a pinkish uh, red because that's really with the branding. Uh, a lot of females uh, are the people actually buying the products for the dogs, even though guys love dogs as much. It just so happens that uh, there's a higher female demographic on Instagram for dog pages. So that, and that's going to be like the predominant way that I am marketing this store. So I'm going to go with this nice like light pink color. So let's go ahead and then try and find a French bulldog you know, for representing the brand there with the French Bulldog. So as you can see, there's a lot of different uh, imagery here that I can utilize. And, you know, you could use all of these. They're copyright free. They have these in here for you to use. So you can see all the different types of little dog faces. So let's go ahead and actually, I kind of like this right here. Or maybe this one. I'm going to go ahead and search. Maybe let's just search Bulldog and see what comes up for that. Um... Yeah, no, the actual... Okay, so let's go ahead and stick with the short one. So this is more or less a French Bulldog, the teeny little body, okay? So as you can see, it's set up like that, and I am going to actually change the fill color to white because that looks pretty clean, pretty nice, and I am actually going to add some text here as well. Uh, now, text is something you can opt for if you want it or you don't want it. Uh, I would personally recommend probably using text in your logo on depending on where it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually save this imagery without the text first. Uh, so because like on your website, you're going to want the text at the top so people know that it's your store name. But on, you know, on your Instagram profile, you're not really going to have space for that. Uh, to, to put like text there so you just want the image obviously so let's go ahead and just save this image here now when you go to go to actually save the logo it's going to come up with two options so the first option is going to tell you $19 which we don't want to pay don't want to pay that at all don't do that it's a waste of money okay go ahead and just go with option two because it's free and it says that it's lower quality right so you see like the high quality versus low quality because you're shrinking the image down so much on your website and on your Instagram and on your Facebook, uh, you're shrinking the website image down so much, you can't even really see the quality difference. So let's go ahead and just download it here. And then I'm going to open it up as well so you guys can see it. So as you can see, if I were to like zoom, like make it really big, the quality is not necessarily the best, right? But when you, when you like shrink it down a lot uh, and you like 
put it on your website, you can't really actually tell the visual differences. I can't really shrink it down too much on this preview here, but when you make it a lot smaller on your website and on Instagram, you can't even tell the difference. So that's why I still just would recommend using the free version. Um, if you are really good with Photoshop as well, which I'm not going to go over really on this course here, uh, you could also do something with Photoshop, but this is just a simple website that you can utilize to make a pretty nice, simple logo, especially because they have a plethora of different images for you to use for your branding and your logo. Okay, so after saving the first image, we're going to go ahead and actually add the text now for the website logoing because we want to have two different options here. You know, you want to have just the plain image and you then also want to have one with text. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Frenchy Life because that is the brand name. So don't worry about if it says that it's something is spelled wrong if you're going to be using uh, certain types of uh, here we go drag to move Okay, don't don't worry about if there are uh, spelling problems because it won't actually uh, Give you that issue when you put it on your website and you save the image So as you can see here, we have Frenchy life right next to it I'm gonna actually change the color from blue to match the backdrop of this so I'm Just gonna go ahead and utilize that same color all you have to do is then click the eyedropper tool if you want to do that for certain things. As you can see, popped up with Frenchy Life. I'm also going to change the font because I'm not exactly a huge fan of that font. I made a second one. Go ahead and just delete that one there. So to change the font, you just come up to the top here and you can search the different font families. So you can go with more decorative fonts, but that's kind of hard to read. I wouldn't recommend something too hard to read for people. That one's a little hard to read as well. So let's try and just go with maybe a fun fun and funky so that one actually looks pretty nice but i kind of like okay that that it looks perfect i like that one a lot so you can just adjust it to what you want and what your preferences are kind of like what you think looks good for your branding on your website it's all up to you with what you actually want to do and as you can see it also has the auto um, adjustment thing so it centers it for you on this website so you don't have to worry about the centering issues sometimes with some websites so that looks pretty good. Frenchy life. It's nice and big, nice and bold. Uh, that's important with the font. You want it to be very easy to read for people when they're on your website. So let's go ahead and then save that one as well here. So once you have both of your logos saved, we're going to go ahead and go back to the Shopify dashboard so we can actually get them on the website and see how they look. So all you have to do is come over here to online store and then you're on the themes tab. Now, if you want to change your theme, you can do that just by exploring the free themes. I'm actually going to be sticking with the debut theme. It's pretty nice, pretty simple. I like it. Depending on your type of preferences, you might want to change your theme to one of these other free themes that they have. When you're first getting started, I probably would not recommend paying for one of the themes. I would just stick with the free themes because they offer pretty much a full store. You don't really need to pay for one of the premium themes, especially when you're starting out. Uh, but, you know, like I said, if you want to down the road, you could. But there's plenty of different free themes that you can choose from, as you can see, like Simple, Pop, Boundless, Venture. Uh, I used Venture a lot on one of my other stores in the past. I like Venture. Uh, it's better if you have a lot of products there because it's easier to sort them. But I like Debut for a nice simple shop. That's actually the default that they give you now on Shopify is the Debut theme. So, there, you know, there's a lot of different options that you could utilize for your themes. We're just going to be sticking with Debut. So all you have to do then is click on Customize over here. And we're going to be customizing a lot more of this theme later in another video as well going over like what makes a visually appealing store and all that kind of stuff but for now we're just going to go ahead and get that logo up instead of just the text here so once you pop open the the website editor all you have to do is come over to header and you're going to upload your image. So all you have to do is select the image there. And once you have your image uploaded right here, it'll pop up there. And as you can see, we have Frenchy Life up in the top left corner. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one. Now it might look a little bit small. You can actually update that and make it a lot larger. So instead of 100, let's try and see what it looks like at 150. Still a little small. Let's go ahead and update that to then 200. See how that looks. It's a lot bigger, a lot easier to read. We might just stick with 200. Let's see at 300, probably a bit too large. Oh uh, yeah, 300 is a bit too large for people. I'd say maybe 250 would be like a happy medium or maybe 225. You can play with this depending on your logoing, uh, depending on the size. So I'm actually gonna stick with 225. Uh, I think the maximum pixels you can do is like 500. It might look ridiculous. No, it kind of caps out at like 300. 
So 225, I like the sizing of that. It matches the text over here in terms of size. So I like that Frenchy life. You can obviously see up the top left looks nice and simple. So all you have to do then is click save up in the top right and it will save your changes for your logo. And now one thing to keep in mind when you're making your website overall with your logoing and stuff, you want things to look good on mobile. So all you have to do to see how it looks on mobile is click this little icon here. So as you can see, this is what your website would then look like on a phone. So as you can see at the top, Frenchy Life, nice and easy to see and easy to read for people when they get to your website. They know that it is you. You know, they recognize that branding. That's really, really important, you know, because people go to your social media pages. They see your logo. They want to see the same thing on your website. They want that branding and consistency across there so that they actually trust you because all that you have is your brand. So if people trust your brand, your imaging, your logoing, what you represent and what you stand for, and then you put that on something, that means that they're going to carry that trust with them and along with the along with them onto your website and ultimately purchasing a product from you. So that's really the importance here of creating a good brand. And as you can see, I made this logo in under five minutes, very, very quick. Uh, just using uh, the free logo maker website, just searching through. Now, of course, I had this design kind of in mind, but, you know, it's very simple, very easy to make high quality logos from here, you know, depending because they give you the little imagery, you know, if you wanted to do fishing. So fishing, you know, there's a ton of different types of things that come up for fishing. All these little logos that you can utilize for your branding, you know, you could almost do like the same thing with a little circle instead of the bulldog. Uh, so it just depends on what you're trying to do, but that is pretty much how you make your logo. And then the next section of the course, I'm going to be going over more on how to make a visually appealing store, how to edit this image with text problem and all these like default things, how to make your colors look good, how to stand out and how to make your website really flow all together for your customers. So that's what I'm going to go over in the next section. It's going to be a lot in there, a lot of things that are up to you to also edit, but that is all for this section. So I'll see you in the next one.